Hey everyone, and welcome to the third episode in my scrolling platformer tutorial series. Today, I'm super excited because we're finally going to get rid of that boring playing ground. And replace it with an awesome looking, well, ground, but a good looking ground like this one. As you can see here, this one actually looks really cool. And it's actually a little more complicated than you might think. Because there are going to be so many clones, we have to use a special method of creating the ground. So that's what I'm going to be showing in today's video. Before we get into the episode, don't forget to hit the like button and smash that subscribe button. Also drop a comment down below for more scratch tutorials. But anyway, let's hop right into it. Alrighty, so I have three new sprites. The first one is called ground and it has a bunch of costumes so this may seem a little confusing but don't let this overwhelm you so i have zero 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 one and zero two then i have one zero one 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 two and so on and as you can see it doesn't look very good because this is the hitbox of the ground this is what the player is going to be colliding with not the actual part that we'll be seeing then i have the exact same for ground visible which is the second sprite so as you can see in in zero zero here's the hitbox and then in ground visible zero zero here is the actual costume so you can see it's similar but that is just what you're going to be seeing i'll explain all the zero zero stuff in a bit then i have wall sensor which is just a little box located to the right of the player if i go ahead and copy and paste the player in as you can see it's about right there on the player then i have border oops i forgot about this sprite in the intro and that is actually it oh and of course i'll share the art for this episode episode in my art project it'll be linked in the description down below that way you don't have to make all the grounds if you don't want to so remember the zero one and zero two and all that stuff here's how it works so the numbers are just the position the first number is the x position of it and the second number is the y position so the very first square which is zero zero is x zero and y zero if we go one up the x is the same so you can see that it's still zero but the y is one now because it went one tile upward then if you go one more it's still zero for the first number because that's the x position but the y is two now because it went up two tiles then if we go one to the right you can see that now it's one zero the y is zero because it's at the bottom and the x is one because it's moved one tile over from zero zero then go up one it's one for the x still and the y is one because it's up one so now hopefully you understand the numbering because that is how it's going to work it's going to make four clones and they're just going to cycle so once this clone gets off to the edge of the screen it's going to just teleport to the top and switch to the right costume start by hiding the border hiding the wall sensor and hiding ground visible let's just start with a clean slate to make the ground with click onto the ground and pull out a wind green flag click now make a new block called list and do run green without refresh and now put that list block right there now we need to build the level using a actual list so make a new for this sprite only list and name this level like so now you can go ahead and delete all of level in this list and we're going to add zero comma zero now we're going to add zero comma one and now add zero comma two so we're basically just building this out so we start at zero zero which is this then we go to zero one which is the one above it and then zero two which is the one above that so you can kind of see the map so it starts here then goes up to here and then goes to here then we move one over so it's one zero so it's at the bottom then one one so it goes goes up one then one two so you can kind of see how this is going to work so duplicate all of this and then do one zero one one and then one two so now we just build our second chunk now we're going to do two zero two one two two now go ahead and duplicate those three and do three zero three one and three two now let's do it four zero four one and four two last but not least let's do five zero five one and then five two so hopefully between the graph in the beginning and explaining it verbally you understand how this is working so now you should see that your list is 18 long and 
it has a bunch of these numbers. And now we need to make a new for all sprite variable called total level height. Go ahead and copy that and then click OK and make a new one called total level width for all sprite as well. Now, right here, let's go ahead and set total level height to zero and the total level width to zero. How do you know what to set these two variables to? Here's how we know. So right here, we have zero, 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 then it goes to one, 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 then two, two, two. So each one of those is like a group. So, so far we have all the zeros, ones, two, threes, and it goes all the way to five. So we know that the level width should be five. Then the height is just these little groups. We have three in each group. It goes zero, one, two. So we know that the total level height is three because it goes up three individually. So that's how you know how to set those. Now let's make a for the sprite only variable called tile column. Now go ahead and click OK and make another for the sprite only variable called tile row. Make sure you do for the sprite only on both of those, otherwise it won't work. I'm going to finish this coding, but there is a little snidbit that I use from Funny Animator Gem TV's Scratch Tile Scrolling Tutorial. I'll link to it down below, but I just use a little piece of the code. So I just want to give credit to that piece of code. I did modify it though. So I want to go ahead and set tile column to one and the tile row to one right here. Now I'm I'm going to create clone of myself and duplicate all of this like so and do tile column one and tile row to two then duplicate that again and do tile column to two and tile row to one last but not least duplicate this and do tile column to two and tile row to two as well and create clone of myself this code right here is going to be the same no matter how big your level is so don't worry about changing that now we want to go ahead and do a when i start as a clone right here a forever loop and now make a new block called tile controller slash slash x position like that and then an input called x then a label called y position like so and then an input called y and go ahead and click ok now pull in this tile controller like that in the forever loop add it the tile column times 480 take all of that minus make a brand new variable for all sprites and name the scroll x minus the scroll x like that. Now duplicate this and do tile row times 360 minus make a new variable named scroll y for all sprites. And take that minus the scroll y like that. Now put that in the y position. So now we have that working like so. Go to block and do go to x and y. Switch costume to 0, zero. It doesn't really matter. And now do an if else an and and then an equals if the x position is equal to x and the y position is equal to y then in the else we're going to hide and in the if we're going to add another if else if tile column is greater than zero and tile row is greater than zero then and all of that tile column is less than total level width plus one like that then add an and to this and tile row is less than total level height plus one like that and put that right there if the total columns greater than zero and tile row is greater than zero and tile column is less than total level width plus one and tile row is less than total level height plus one then we are going to show switch costume to item tile column times total level height height minus total level height plus variable tile row and put that in the item so it should look like this tile column times total level height minus total level height plus tile row then in this else right here just do a height now the last bit of this we're going to do if x this little purple one is greater than 480 then we're going to change tile column by negative 2 then if x is less than negative 480 then change tile column by 2 then if y greater than 360 then change the tile row by negative 2 and last Last but not least, if y is less than negative 360, then change the tile row by 2 and put that 
all in the bottom. So this bit right here is the part that I use from Funny Animator Gym TV. So nothing is actually happening and that's because we need to actually make the player scroll as well. So this means we need to do some programming in the player. So click onto the player and let's do it. Underneath this platformer right here, make a brand new block and name this camera, then do slash slash and then click OK. Now go ahead and make a brand new variable for the sprite only called player x and another one for the sprite only called player y change the player x by x position minus make another new variable for the sprite only called old x and make sure you make that for the sprite only and now make another one called old y for the sprite only so change the player x by x position minus old x and then change player y by y position minus old y now we're going to change scroll x by round player x minus scroll x divided by 5 like so and then change scroll y by round player y minus scroll y divided by 2. Now pull out a go to block player x plus 0 minus scroll x. Go ahead and duplicate this and go to y player y plus 0 minus scroll y. Pull out this camera block and put it underneath the platformer. And uh oh, where'd a player go? So let's add some stuff to the reset. We're going to go ahead and set the player x to 400 and the player y to 1000. 1120. Set the old X and the old Y right here on the very top of this platformer script to X position and Y position. And now all you need to do is click this hide button on the ground and go into the player and go ahead and make sure that your X is 400 and your Y is 1120. And go ahead and also set your scroll X and scroll Y to those same numbers. So now you can see that once we start, look at this, we have our game and it is actually scrolling and we should be able to do all of our platforming scripts. Yes, look at this. We can move right to left. We can roll. You can see how this is all working now because zero, zero right here. This is one, then two, then three. So you can see right here is a giant three, then two, and then one, which is a horrible looking one, but still you get the point now. Now my only question is what happened to my other costumes? This is all good. We have the jumping area. We have the log. Then once you get over here, there should actually be this right here. Remember in the beginning when I showed you how to set the level with, I was being really dumb because it starts at zero. So you have to include the zero. So you have zero, then one. So, so far it's two, three, four, five, and then six. So our actual level width is six. So if we go ahead and set the level width to six, you can see that we should be able to go across the whole level. Yep, here's the right side. So there you go. The cave goes down. We have this cave pool. We can jump up over over here we can jump there we can go parkour boop bop beep all right so this is all working now and then here is the ending in here now we just need to fix a few things the first one is particles well that is because we are now scrolling we're not stationary anymore go into the effects and instead of x position of player change this to player x of player and then player y of player right here now you can go ahead and instead of just going to the effect x you can do effect x minus scroll x duplicate this and do effect y minus scroll y now look at that it is already working and scrolling around i noticed that when we are jumping up and down a lot it doesn't always make particles so let's try moving this sensor costume down some let's add some more functionality to the camera because you can see that we could just walk straight off of the edge of the map i don't really want that so let's add if the scroll x is less than 485 then set the scroll x to 485 put that before this go to right here and now you can see that when we go over here it locks the camera then let's add another one for the right side if the scroll x is greater than 2650 then set the scroll x to 2650 now you can see that it locks the camera after a bit of going to the right go ahead and add the visible ground now because it looks horribly ugly so go into the ground visible and go ahead and show that sprite now 
pull all of the programming from ground into ground visible every single block now if we go ahead and hide this ground visible sprite you can see that we have some grass popping up that is really cool but it still isn't in the right spot all you need to do is when i start as a clone go forward five layers like so so now you can see that because the hitbox is the same shape as the visible we can actually add stuff that we can walk through for instance this rock here at one two is there in the hitbox but if we go to one two visible we have this bush here and we don't actually collide with it you can see in the ground visible we can draw anything we want but it won't collide with it now the player is behind everything so in the camera of the player go ahead and just do a go to front on the bottom but there are still some spots where the hitbox sticks out like that green bit right there so what you can do is go ahead and when green flag clicked set the ghost effect to 100% and still the ground is being silly so instead of this go to front in the player try doing go for 25 layers and then in the ground visible do a when I start as a clone go to front so now you can see that that layering is all correct again and let's go ahead and play through this level now right here is going to be water eventually where you can fall in and actually get hurt here are some obstacle courses we can go ahead and just slide our way down here here is the bottom of the map there's some lava here we have to do hardcore parkour and we can go parkour boop beep bop and go over here and then this is where the ending is going to be but let's add another camera limit because oh no i just fell through the map duplicate this if right here and if the scroll y is less than 360 then set the scroll y to 360 and put that if right there so now you should see that if we go ahead and go down into our awesome area you should see that the camera locks even if we fall down here go into the effects add a go to front in this forever loop right here that way it's never behind sometimes it can bug out because this is off 480 by 360 so your costumes have to be at least 480 by 360 so what do you do for costumes such as this one where it's tiny what you can do is make a square right here that is invisible and it will make it bigger because without it you can see that the ratio right here is small but if i add that in it counts it as 480 that just makes it run smoother and actually work now let's just finish up by adding the border and wall sensor in the border do a when green flag clicked set size to 100% go to 0 0 then when I receive a new message and name this tick then go to front layer now in the backdrops do a when green flag clicked ever loop broadcast tick now if you go ahead and show that border it just adds a little bit of fanciness because you can see without it it just looks normal with it it just kind of looks fancy and it's kind of cool last but not least go into the effects and see this when green five clicked forever loop pull that into the wall sensor and go ahead and change any of the parameters to the right one for one go to player and then instead of touching ground do touching wall then in the player go into platforming script and take out this touching wall right here so delete that there and and then in the beginning delete that there so now it should work a little better for certain things thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did then hit the like button and consider subscribing but anyway this has been owen and i am out